Okay, so today we are going to try something um, called a trade-off. So in falconry, when your bird catches something, you know, like a rabbit or a squirrel or whatever, uh, you trade it for a piece of meat so you can get the whole carcass. There's a couple of reasons for this. Maybe you want to eat what they caught. Uh, maybe you just don't want them to eat all of it. You want them to eat a portion of it. Whatever the case may be, there's a lot of reasons to trade off. In the case of raptor, just like when hunting with a bird of prey, sometimes you want them to catch multiple animals. And so the best way to do that is to trade them off for a little piece so they're still hungry enough to go catch something else. Give them another little piece and maybe they'll catch a third something else. Anyway. There are various different ways of doing a trade off with a bird of prey. And each falconer seems to have their own little personal favorite way of doing it. Some birds learn to trade off of their kill more easily than others. But regardless of the species or temperament of bird you are working with, if you use one of the many good methods out there, you can teach the bird to willingly give up its prey without losing the bird's trust in the process. It is important that a wild predator trusts its human hunting companion around food. It doesn't make a difference if the wild predator is a mink, a hawk, or in my case a monitor lizard. If you don't have that trust, the animal will try and get away from you every time it catches something. So it's absolutely necessary that you build, not betray, the animal's trust when doing a trade-off. I foresee the most difficult part of doing a trade-off with a monitor lizard, when compared to working with birds of prey, is the fact that monitors hold their prey with their mouth, not with their feet the way hawks and falcons do. So I won't be able to use the simple out of sight, out of mind trick that you see falconers doing here. But despite that obvious difference and potential difficulty, I feel that if I carefully do things just right, I can get my monitor lizard raptor to do a trade-off while still retaining the trust and relationship I have spent time building over the last couple months. So that's the idea and we're gonna start training him that concept today. So we're gonna start out by getting him out. Thank you. So I'm gonna give him a little chunk of something to eat here to kind of whet his appetite. Since this is his first time doing this, I don't want him to be too hungry. Um, he'll be a little too anxious to eat what he catches here. So we're going to give him this dubia here to kind of make sure he's not ravenous, which these guys are always ravenous. That's why we got an Argus monitor because of their ravenous appetite. But that should help him be a little bit calmer when he grabs this rat that we're going to try and trade him off of because he's not quite as hungry. Okay, come on bud, let's go into here. Okay, well, let me go run out and see if I can find a smaller one. As soon as he switches, oh, there you go. I just want to make in real quick when he releases for a second to try and get a better grip to swallow, which is pretty common. They reposition where they bite to get another, to be able to swallow it easier. Then I want to quickly come in and trade him for something else. Give it a couple shakes. I want to try and get in before he gets to that point where he's got the head and he's trying to swallow it. Let's. We want to make sure we're not making him feel like we're going to take it from him either. Because if he feels like we're going to take it from him, then he won't trust us. He'll want to take it other places. And you'll see this. This is pretty big for him to try and swallow. It's possible. We want it small enough that he can consider it possible. Yeah, we missed our little easy moment there. Let's see if we can kind of get him to reposition and let it go for a second. Yeah, he's got it down too far. <laughs> he might be able to swallow it. Yeah, I needed one just a little bit bigger than this. There we go. 
Here you go. Look, it's right here. There you go. Good job. Small one. There you go. Sweet. We got a trade off. And let's do one more. He repositions. There we go. As soon as he repositions, we want to be in there to give him the other piece. And eventually, we'll want to work to the point where we can get him to release it once he's got a hold of it. But for now, we just kind of wait for him to release on his own to reposition it to try and swallow. And then we give him a chunk of meat. Good job, little man. Good job, little man. Let's do one more big piece and fill him up so he's done. I got this scrumptious little swallable size. Look at that gooeyness. Mmm. Just gonna be patient here, wait for him to soften his grip. There you go. There you go. Perfect trade off. See, that time he's starting to get it. He actually understood what was going on there. You could kind of see him thinking and he said, oh, I'm going to drop this big piece for a quick, easy little swallow piece. And with lots of repetitions, he'll start to get the idea better and better and realize it's a lot easier for him to uh, let go of the big giant piece and, and take a little small one, quickly gulp it down. Because it takes a lot of work to try and eat that big old, um, big old giant rat. So it's a lot easier for him to just quickly swallow a chunk. And, uh, and you can see he's starting to realize the process. He's starting to understand, hey, if I drop this big old thing I got, this guy will give me a, a manageable piece that I can gulp down. So he's starting to get the idea. Good job, Mr. Raptor. Good job, little man. Let's go put you back in your home. Good job, Mr. Raptor. Get up there and warm up, digest your meal. Good job. So a lot of people have questioned the intelligence of a monitor lizard. Are they smart enough to learn things like that? That's pretty complicated. He's already got food. He needs to let go of the food to, in order to get another piece of food. I mean, that's kind of a complicated process or concept. I mean, my gosh, third try, first time ever, dropped it and took the piece out of his hand, or was it maybe it was the fourth try? But anyway, third or fourth try. <laughs> and uh, he got it. So they're pretty smart little animals. In my opinion, I think they're comparable to certain bird, certain species of birds of prey. Um, I, I sometimes wonder if he's not smarter than, than, than some of the occipiters, to be honest. Uh, I doubt they would compare to like a Harris hawk, something on the higher level uh, of intelligence in the, in the birds of prey world, but I really feel like this guy's got more brains than a Cooper's hawk or a Harris hawk or a than a Cooper's hawk or a, or a goshawk. That's just my opinion. Intelligence is a really hard thing to judge. There's a lot of bias involved when everyone says this is smarter than that. There's a ton of bias involved, but in my opinion, I think he's smarter than, than at least the occipiter family of the bird of prey, um, if not at least identical to their intelligence level. Definitely not below, um, in my opinion. So anyway, really happy with him. That went super smooth for the first time ever. And um, yeah, I'll be excited to show you guys more progress as we continue his training. Thanks for watching.